world and you're live. Thank that's 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 my welcome cue. to the stream, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us here. It's uh, it's holding stream. We're gonna do some D and D. Um, uh, uh, put put your quotes in the box and and pay for it. Hey, I have a fun idea. Jason, can I just send you the recap to read? <laughs> yes. Do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You got this. I'm bringing the. Bringing I mean, the I usually add. Here. I usually ad lib a few things into it, but you know what? I, I was gonna make fun of you for taking over my stream. Now I'm just gonna encourage it. Take over my stream. Let's this do will, it. This will be interesting. Let's do it. Oh my god. And after that, it'll finally be worth watching. We're gonna go check it'll out Jason Loring on uh, Twitch.tv. The party had just defeated an ambushing party composed of formidable drow opponents. Gathering themselves after the fight, Doran walked into a nearby house to have a panic attack accompanied by a cleaning bitch, to prepare an interrogation room. Six began looting the bodies of their recently slain enemies, and Bess and Alistair checked up on the mage they had overcome but not killed. The party eventually gathered in the house, Doran and magically cleansed, cleaned, Alistair dragging the now drow, oh, I'm sorry, the drow mage <laughs> in by the color of his robe. A classic bronze toad style interrogation commenced, full of fucking around and generally not really knowing what to ask until the mage decided it was in his best interest to speak freely. Seeing the amulet around Six's neck, they learned much about the queen from this mage, whose name was Corvus. They learned the queen was possibly much more powerful than they anticipated and gained some insights into her past. Eventually, the interrogation become, became more of a dialogue, and while quite fearful for his life, it was clear the mage respected the party for their capabilities. The conversation ended with surprisingly wholesome camaraderie. The mage wishing them the best, claiming it was in his best interest that they defeat the Queen of Thieves for the sake <laughs> of his life and pride, as he believes it is better to lose to the best than to the second best. The party let the mage go peacefully, even going so far as to give him a head start on the Queen by giving him eight hours of proof against detection. Afterward, the party was divided on how to proceed. Bess managed to scry on the queen, and eventually the party settled on taking a short rest in a different nearby house with a second floor. A few messages were magically sent, and the party quickly made their way back to Shine Bright. As the night grew dark, passing by the remnants of a battle between cloaked rangers, members of the New Republic, and a group of rattlings along the way. Upon their return, the party debriefed the commander and were tended to by medical staff. Doran received his return letter from Savaris and enjoyed a hearty night of camaraderie with a group of rangers. Uh, Bess and Six settled in for a good night's rest, and Alistair perched himself upon high once again to read one of the books he'd found in the Mage's Guild Hidden Library oh God, in bird. order to transform some of his own magic. We will pick up in the morning, where you will all have received the benefits of a long night's rest. We return in the morning in Shine Bright, as the party has just benefited from a long rest. What is everyone doing this morning? <clears throat> Resetting my One character sheet. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, honestly, I have no fucking clue what you guys are doing. This is like. Well, I'm going to right off the bat sketch the morning. From my morning. porch. Did you sleep up there? I'm gonna go with yes because that is something I would do. Sure. And somehow you are very well. You feel great. You feel very well rested. <laughs> All right. So if we want to be perfectly accurate, uh, Alistair is up here, but like skirt. Okay. I'm sorry. I meant to look at the calendar. What day is today in the? It's the 18th. Oh, uh, today is the 16th of Celestial. Basically the 18th. Yeah, close enough. Actually, like, not as close as you think because of the way the calendar works. There's only five days in the week. I don't know why I did that, but hey, here we are. You know what? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that's why three weeks and 18 days were both acceptable answers. <laughs> Celestial sounds like a prescription medication. Side effects may include being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Tentacles. Let your doctor know Tentacles. if you have suicidal thoughts while taking a little spell. If you have the sudden urge to chop, chop people's toes off and tell inside jokes about other D&D campaigns, please consult your doctor. No. All right. Yeah. 
Um, I actually ate an apple, so I can't consult my doctor. Oh, the, you're immune. Um, so Alistair is uh, perched upon the commander's office, the highest point in Shinebright right now. Doran, you had a um, a hearty night of, of merriment with some of the rangers. Camaraderie. Camaraderie, Mer if, if Merry you know, men. Um, what would you be Oh, no, I just morning? like the word camaraderie. It's a honestly. good word. It's a really good word. Um, <laughs> thank you. I, can't, I made it myself. Nice. <laughs> I don't like uh, when you say things. <laughs> I don't like when you exist, so. Get fucked. Call it even? Alright, you got me. Um, I would, uh, kind of stretch a little bit. Um, get out of bed. And I'd, I'd walk out and see if I can talk to anyone about maybe if anyone's heading in the direction of the cult. Okay, um, are you looking around? Are you directly walking up to people on top? How, how are you approaching that? Walking around asking people. Okay, uh, make make a general charisma check then. Um, six and best. What will you guys be doing this morning? Oh, six is going to continue being confused about everything that's going on um, in the direction that people should be moving in. So he's going to sit quietly and eat something. Okay, um, you can have your fast. your your regular fast. regular old uh, cloaked rangers breakfast. Delicious. It's not. <laughs> it's no, it's not. delicious. Oh sure, yeah. Well, you can eat poison and be fine. So yeah, this is this is great. This <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'll take three. All right, Bess, uh, what Bess about you? Is going to mess around with her deck of tarot cards that she got from the spooky bag. Spooky bag. Okay. Yeah. Find out what's behind. Uh, do I do I get any fortunes told? <laughs> Give me uh, a fortune. Uh if I knew tarot cards, I would love to. That that sounds like something I would genuinely enjoy. However, um, uh, I don't. <laughs> you have Google. Wait, Claire, you literally have tarot cards <laughs> in real life. I'm not getting up to get them. I will get up to get them because I think this would be interesting for you to do a reading for your D&D &D character. How great would really? that be? Yeah, that would be awesome. There you go. I like that. I like that okay. a lot. I'm getting them because oh. I like this idea a lot. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, while while Six is having breakfast and Bess is um, giving herself a tarot reading, um, Doran, as you begin walking around uh, asking people about the church, you get... Most of the answers you receive are kind of nervous, like, uh, no, what? Why would we? We have no reason to go there. Or uh, other people saying, oh, I've, I've heard people go there and they don't come back. It's no. Um, and you get a couple of, um, a lot of, a lot of the answers you're receiving are very, like, not quite standoffish, but, but, you know, wanting to, not wanting to talk about this, obviously. There's a lot of fear and, um, Perhaps resentment, a little bit, among the people here, toward the Church of the Rock. Good. Good. I kind of nod, and I'm like, I understand that you don't like them, but rudeness isn't, shouldn't ever be tol tolerated. <laughs> kind of walk away after that. All right. Okay. I, I wouldn't see. say this to anyone who I actually made friends with, though. That would be for like people who I haven't connected with. Okay. Noted. Anyone who I would have connected with, I would have responded like, ah, fair enough. They are kind of shitty, aren't they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> some real, some real code. Fair enough. Here. Okay. Doran just likes to be liked, you know. I understand. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Doran, actually, um, however, as well, <laughs> as af as you're kind of making your rounds, um, eventually you are approached by Pettifer, who uh, he, he approaches you with, like, a rolled-up um, piece of parchment. And and he, he says to you, Good good morning. No. Here... <laughs> I just kind of glare at him for a second and go, Ah, I got you. <laughs> right. What do you want? Uh, well, you paid for it, so here you are. What does he hand me? 
uh, rolled up piece of parchment. I open it. It is the poem you ordered. I like to read it. Sure. <laughs> I forgot Holden actually had to write a poem. Yeah. I forgot we asked for this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you sure did. I didn't forget. In in oh. limerick style, as as promised, because that was the only fucking uh, form of poetry I could name off the top of my head in the moment. <laughs> so. Really? That's why you went with that? You should have gone with the ambic pentameter, bro. See, that's yeah, why man. limerick what about was the only one that... You know what? Couplet probably would have been a lot easier. Uh, I ambic pentameter is uh... super fun, though. I ambic pentameter is a bit if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but it's fun if you do. But the second maybe, you like, maybe just a haiku. Fully understand it. It's like really good. <laughs> Actually, haiku did come to, come to mind first, but I felt like I don't know because because of its origins in real life. I, for some reason, I felt like it wouldn't fit in. It wouldn't exist in Direwood. But why the fuck wouldn't it? Who cares? Like what? I don't know. Anyway, uh, here, here like you are. To, here it is. <laughs> I would like to invent mahjong. <laughs> I, I can't stop you. <laughs> Blake's well, been having a fun time with mahjong lately. Step one, I have to learn what mahjong is. How to play <laughs> mahjong myself. Uh, where is it? But in right here. Um, since I've showed that to you now, I will just make sure all of you have it in your journal. So if you want to bring that back up. Uh, you may at your leisure. It is in your journal. Uh, so. Um, so oh, Dorn, I didn't even pop up on my screen. Really? Did it not? No, it didn't. I had to go find it and open it. Oh, there you are. Oh, it just popped up on me. Yeah, okay. I just I just redid it. I probably just... Pro Prospered oh so long ago. Now filled disaster. Do you know how to read a limerick? Do you know the... Oh, I do. I'm just not reading it that way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you, like, reading Doran, it wrong just to bother Doran, Pettifer? Doran wouldn't know. No, he, Doran's not, yeah. Doran's he, not a man of poetry. There. He's standing there watching you, like, waiting for a reaction Our of some kind. future comes faster. From toads and rangers squint bestowedly? That, that's, that's an exclamation. It's, uh, you should read this. I uh, hand it back to him. Uh, right. You, um, you know better than me. I, so, so, uh, so, sure. Uh, a city once struck with woe, prosperous oh so long ago, now filled with disaster. Her future comes faster from toads and rangers bestowed. Take heed, lo, hear the tale of the city who now shall prevail. Brave souls take her back from misfortune's attack. Spread word of her beautiful grail. There's a grail here. Uh, Six says as he approaches. <laughs> I nod and go, how much to get 12 copies of these? I I wouldn't... I'd need the parchment, but it wouldn't take me that long, I suppose. Well, let's go talk to someone. Uh, um, I'll be back. I'll grab it from his hands, and I'm going to uh, head to find the commander. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to I'm gonna go talk to the main dog and see how he thinks. The main dog. The main dog. <laughs> You see light in his room on all fours, eating out of a bowl. <laughs> as I start, I, I, as I start walking away, I, I turn around and run back and go. Please don't tell him I called him that. <laughs> well, I, then, have you seen um, Helsing at all? No. Okay, then never. Mind. Everything that I think of when I think of light, I think of the, uh, the werewolf. Yeah, the Nazi werewolf. That guy. Yeah. That's what I think of when I think. Why do you of equate life. the leader of the cloaked rangers to a Nazi no, werewolf? Just because of the way he looks in my head, not because of him being a Nazi or a werewolf. Okay, because he's neither it's of the those things. Stop looking into it. Shut up. And and, oh. and and the sharp cheekbones. It's those things. Oh, does that give uh, away? I think it's because the, he's a he's a lichen. The sexy cheeks and the uh... the inability to have sex with me on a full moon. Massively thick. At, never mind. So you enter a shine bright manner. Um, seeking the commander. Actually, on your way up to the the last steps here on the outside, you see Alistair perched atop the commander's office, kind of just sketching away, having having a good old time. Are you winning? Oh, yeah. I kind of look at you and go, "Mm-hmm." Good. I wouldn't want to be friends with a loser. Uh, I'm gonna choose to be nice to you for this morning. Good. <laughs> I give him a thumbs up. I'm gonna go show the commander a poem. Interesting. 
the the door opens while you're still on the steps, and, and <laughs> the commander uh, steps out. I I presumed when I heard you two shouting, there was going to be something more important than a poem. Good morning. You assumed incorrectly. <sighs> this better be important. And he he like steps back into his office. <laughs> back into I uh, walk in. And I hand him the poem. Okay, he takes a look. It's a limerick. So it seems. Um, it's very nice. Thank you. Did you write this? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, okay. Um, what's this? Why? Well, I would like to uh, try to help create more of a better opinion of this place. So uh... that whenever we go around trying to talk to people... They don't go, oh, you're kidding, right? You, And we're going to do that with a poem. It's our step one. Your step one. Um, you, Doran, you, you've been doing a lot around here. I appreciate your efforts. Um, I, I hope it does well. <laughs> <laughs> Doran goes, he doesn't like it. The commander gets down on all fours. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> no, you say he doesn't like it. He goes, I, I, I actually, it's a, it's a fine, fine couple of limericks. It's just, uh, Direwood has been on everyone's shit list for quite some time. I don't know how effective this will be, but um, I, I also don't know how you're going to distribute it. I come with uh, hoping you had ideas. Oh, oh, okay. I should have figured. Um, it's far can Alistair join good. them by now? Would he have uh, gotten you could, off the yeah, roof? Yeah, you could hear this. Okay. I, I just imagined like neither of them was plugged enough to close the door behind them. It's just open and you just kind of swing on in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't have even thought about closing the door. <laughs> yeah. So, Alistair, you just, you just swing in at this point. <laughs> it is not my office. So it's not my job. The commander seeing you. Nice of you to join us. Uh, I have... We don't have a lot. But we have some parchment, some paper. We could... Whoever wrote this, if they would be willing to take the time to copy it. We I'm sure he likes that better than building house, working on houses. Why don't we turn it... That. Why don't we turn it into a song? Like an anthem? Ooh. Alice just kind of perks just... up at that and he goes, I could I could pull together something like that. And and then, you know, we could just maybe maybe do a maybe do a little gathering with everybody and okay. and first first have him him read his own poem and then we, we teach them the song and have it be a be a inspirational direwood moment. Inspiration? I give me a second, I smell burning. I'll be right back. Hold in. What's what? about to happen is canon. Oh god. Oh no. And you know it is. Are you gonna sing for us? No. I don't think he's gonna Better. sing, but he's gonna propose something or I I don't I don't Guys, the tarot card reading was actually kinda spooky. I I oh. is best gonna you share with the party. Into a fiery ball. That's all. <laughs> Roll a yeah. deck save as the commander casts fireball in his office. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to move offices. <laughs> what's this? What's this card mean? Oh, avoid fire. <laughs> <laughs> There's the burning smell, Blake has. Oh. Blake comes back. So my house is on fire. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be a reason to cancel a session. Holden's like, thank God I can go to bed. I'm back. Are you on fire? No, no, no. I think it's my neighbor's food. Good. Ah. Oh. oh. They're grilling, so I, I'm just like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, huh. They're grilling, or we're gonna start seeing smoke pour into your room behind you eventually, and you're gonna have to run. Um. So what is friends. Alistair about to say? <laughs> you know, it? I do actually have a group of people I used to be a part of for musicals and singing. Musicals isn't like you performed uh musicals like with acting and. Uh. We dabbled. You it was dance? mostly a musical, a musical group, but like singing and music instruments, musical instruments. But uh, fair, fair, I just um, 
I, I, picturing you dressed in a costume dancing on stage just made me happy. I will not deny that I have done that before. Or I have not done that before. You may oh. mentally picture that as you'd like. But I do have a group of friends that would like to probably get together. And we could make a song or something. Oh, I we turned to... the band back together. I turned to the commander. Super group? Do you know if there's any traveling, like, bards that come and sing tales nearby? The, the caravan that comes by monthly, I'm sure there are some there. Because How's the commander... You go. How's the commander reacting to this? Is he, like, cringe or, like, big happy? He uh, uh, does genuinely seem appreciative. He hasn't just kicked you out of his right. office. But he <laughs> seems very... Uh, roll an inside check, actually. Hold on, it's Ken and Alistair used to be in a group. I know. <laughs> Who made 14? you? Um, he's not hiding it very well. He seems fairly skeptical. Other than that, you can tell he's tolerating it. He seems skeptical with the 14. You can't gather much more than that. I can't just say band. Bands don't exist yet. Sure they do. Do they? Okay, yeah. then we were in a band. Sure. Well, band of bards. <laughs> No, come I, on. I, I have to look at my backstory because I actually think I named the group. So hold on. No, come on. This is not like our top priority. This is more something we came up with. Or we asked to have P Pedophore was kind of not being useful. I thought uh -huh. he was put on reconstruction duty. No, he's not good at it. We knew that much. Yes. But so... until we have fields for him to guard, which was part of the contract. Um, well, the contract doesn't really work. Correct. So, we had to have him do something. In fact, he sort of volunteered. Yes, correct. I understand that. It's just when he was not doing good, so we wanted to find, maybe try to find something he would do decent at. Uh, and if, this worked. If you believe this is it, how he can help the most, I will take your words for it. It was called Bars for Bards. Bars for Bards. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking D&D &D boy band. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm now having ideas in my head of, of, of recording myself. You know, you know, like, uh, like classic boy band style. It just the song starts off with a bang and like five dudes singing. I'm just, just going to record that and make a song out of it and have it ready for you guys next week. Uh, <laughs> Don't, because <laughs> Isaac will do it. Um, he didn't I, say I, no. I won't. Okay. Um. Anyway, <laughs> the the commander continues. I, I get. I can supply him with some parchment, but if you want this in any sort of mass production, you're gonna have to scavenge for some from Direwood or purchase some at the next caravan arrival. I have a few people in Priest who might be willing to help copy. I don't think that's the best use of your time right now, but if you're no, able not. to send them a message, perhaps, or get the word across that way. I don't have the means for that. My next spell change, I will, but... Regardless, this is more of a just... Something we were talking about or thinking of has not, no actual... It's not priority. You see him kind of look down and think for a moment. There's a moment of silence in the room. No, there's not. The second no one's talking, I start humming. <laughs> okay, there's a, mo there's a brief, brief moment of silence followed by humming, um, which is interrupted by the commander saying, This isn't my area. I, I will leave this up to you, Doran. If, if, I can see the value in folklore and spreading the tales of glory and perhaps driving new people here. We, we need bodies. We need resources. And perhaps if some tales of chivalry were to spread across Fierce Reach and some brave and good-hearted adventurers were to make their way here or anyone, really, it could be beneficial. So... If this even got one handy person in Shinebright, 
I'd call it a success. So I will leave this up to you. You are officially our PR person. <laughs> you won't regret this. Next I, order of business. Please, please, please prove that. <laughs> Next order of business. I don't know if we're going to go up to the Queen right away, at, or um, if we want to wait, or go in guns a-blazing. She still so seems to be a top priority. She was also, last we checked, not in the New Republic. What do you mean? I don't know how to make that more clear. We used, she left? Best used magic to to look at her. And she wasn't there. Oh, you mean she's physically not in the tavern? Correct. Or well, at sorry. the time when I scried on her, she wasn't. Correct. Okay. Which was last wasn't night. Wasn't your entire plan to go bait her out, though? Yes. Also, from our little interrogation of a man who almost killed Bess, she's been acting different. So you've mentioned more put together and um prepared i don't like any of those words used to describe her neither do i well she's so... far too powerful to ignore far too high priority to put off so do we want to go in with a bunch of men and worst case scenario lose a bunch of men we can't I... afford casualties right now. As much as I would love a full assault with that many people, rat attacks on the way, and other who knows what would drain us, or at least tire us. And then by the time we got there, I'm not opposed to it. Perhaps it's the kind of action we need to start taking back this city. But we need reinforcements, which you've already somewhat procured. And I'd need more intelligence. I'd need numbers. I'd need a layout of the tavern. I'd need a lot. I do have another idea, but you won't like it. What's I'm that listening. idea? The church. What about it? If I can get some of them to help, it's not our men we're putting at risk. I see the merit of it. But I'm going to need bargaining chips. How do I convince them to help us? I don't like being indebted to them one bit. That's why we're not going to be indebted. We make a deal. I have to admit, my initial reaction is absolutely not. Because the only way I can see getting them to be willing to help is to basically tell them help us with this and you will secure a place in Direwood you will secure relations with the cloaked rangers etc etc our only bargaining chip is our allegiance our cooperation with them and I don't like that however I do see the merit of using them using their manpower rather than ours and I do understand that my initial anger was not helpful. You have shown me that they are still dire Woodians. So, if you have an idea, if you have specific plans, I'm willing to hear it. They sent back a letter, and I've been my crew on, I look at six, if we're nice, have been invited to a, uh, another preaching moment, another sermon. Okay. It'd be go there, participate if they need us to, and then talk to the person in charge again and see about coming to an accord. 
And well, we don't have anybody who's gonna lightning bolt civilians this time, so... Yes, and the hope is convince him that the enemy that um that it's a common threat. We have a common enemy and if we work together that we can defeat the common enemy. So you're going to frame the New Republic as a common enemy of the Cloaked Rangers and the Church of the Rock. And yes. if they perhaps rather than framing it as helping the Cloaked Rangers, you frame it as helping Direwood, helping you. I don't want to be indebted to them and I'm frankly still because the mission was originally yours to scout them out and get a feel for what they're like, what their goals are, whether we should be working with them or not. But we had to put that off. And you have strongly recommended I don't send anyone else. I haven't. I don't know enough to be able to comfortably make any decisions. I know six have strong opinions of them. Which I actually completely disagree with Six's opinions on them. Do tell. Six no. doesn't like the fact no, that... No, no. Six. Do tell. Oh. oh. Uh, the church. I find them uh, non-cooperative. That's not helpful. It doesn't bode well for your current plan. Well, perhaps if Dorne does the talking this time. Right. I've I've heard of your recent talking with them, and um, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps. So I'm willing to uh, follow Dorne's lead on this one. And if I make. If I may make a suggestion. Bess. I want you in on this. You are a oh. representative of the Cloaked Rangers. And thus far, you seem to be the most... He looks around to the whole group. Forgive me. Level-headed. Thank you. Can I have a flare gun? I just imagined <laughs> Bess's Mabel going grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> Bess the after, after calling Bess possibly the most level headed and her immediately requesting a flare gun. <laughs> I said <laughs> thank you. He lets out a deep sigh. <sighs> I don't. I don't no, have one. And last time, on see, last time that we talked, you said that uh, if we needed help to use a flare gun, and I don't have a flare gun. And if you think I'm level headed, then I probably know when I'm gonna need help or when we're gonna need help. I... So by giving me a flare gun, we're gonna be level headed in the best ways that we can be. The best for you. Lauren, perhaps you do do the talking. Um, six, you have a flare gun, don't you? <laughs> Oh, I lost mine. No, I don't say that. Um, no, I, I, do, I do have a flare gun. What would he have said if you said you lost it, you dumbass? You want to find out? I don't want to know. All right. Right. Uh, are you out of flares? Still have plenty of flares and the grappling hook attachment. So why didn't you use the flare gun when you were ambushed? Alistair kind of has this look. He goes, I didn't know we had a flare gun. Honestly, um, the ambush just happened all so fast. Six, as commanding officer of this squad, unofficially, officially, have you not debriefed them fully on the situation? Um, I believe we had. We do have a flare gun that we can use to uh, request backup or a signal. <laughs> <laughs> It's got multiple, multiple colored flares on it. Alistair's like, that would have been, that would have been nice to have. Six. I, I didn't think we needed it. I, we, I, I well, assure you, the commander is not laughing. Six, I almost we, um, died. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
six, we, I had we to bring Vess back to life, died out six. There. I was fine, Six. I agree with your decision. But <laughs> I honestly uh, think that would have still been required. I don't think anyone would have gotten to us in 18 seconds. Commander, um, can I have That's what a I meant, gun? Commander, when I said that it all happened so fast. If and by the time the gun, I, I even one. thought of the flare gun that Six had, I mean, the ambush was over, and we were just trying to get out of the streets where the rats were, and by the time that you would have gotten there, we would have been eaten by rats if we'd just been waiting around, so... Which would have been a great time to fire a red flare requesting backup to escort you back here. Commander, can I have a flare gun? If everyone's getting one, can I have one? <laughs> you... We don't... These don't grow on trees. Oh, I They're am very mistaken how you get these then. Quite expensive. I, um, I we may have three left total. I I, I, I look at all of us. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I I tell the commander that uh we used our best judgment. Um we are all alive and we chose not to put any other dire Woodians in danger. I don't like the name Dire Woodians. Do we have? Can we come up with a different one? And Commander, you keep talking about not being able to have any casualties because we're so short on manpower. I mean, you can't argue with us there. I we're... understand you made it back fine, and I understand your concern for your fellow cloaked rangers. All I'm saying is, a, a small squad moving on their own should probably be fine. Or, honestly, if you had launched a red flare, I probably would have sent the Precians. Oh my god, my dog just scared the fuck out of me. He must have gotten off his chain because he's at my window barking at me, and I actually just lost my shit. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, my heart's fucking pounding. <laughs> I'm like, what's that? Oh, <laughs> if your concern about Stubby using the flare dog. gun lies in the lives of direwood citizens much better just i'm curious as to how quickly troops are able to travel uh were we to have sent up a flare at that location by horse probably not quick enough to get there to help you with the ambush but quick enough that you could gather yourselves for moments and they could arrive to escort you back here i would be glad if you sent a red flare or a black flare, even, to to outfit the Prussian squad you brought here with horses and send them your way. Understood. The discretion is yours, of course, Six. Don't misunderstand. I am not upset. I simply wish to remind you of your options. I am. Sounds pretty upset. Thank you, Commander. I always sound upset, so I've been told. It's true. He does, generally. I don't know if upset started. the right word. Obsess the right word. Regardless, um... So... Well, now that we're gonna get back on topic... Yes, Sam has told me that this church... This Church of the Rock gathering happens in three days. Correct. So... Your plan, right now, is to get the Church of the Rock to help take care of the new republic i don't like this plan but it's the best one we've got it's it will allow you to deal with two birds with one stone so to speak you can learn more about the church of the rock perhaps give me a sit rep and possibly get them to help with our higher priority objective it's it's a better plan than i have frankly i'm very busy managing things here Another part of the plan would be to get my father out of the New Republic. If you can orchestrate that, if there's anything I can do to help, the Cloaked Rangers can do to help, I assure you, family is a... a very strong... very strong motivator, motivator around here. Thank you, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, motivator around here. <laughs> if I have a, a way to get in there and right get out fast, but... Yeah. Yeah, if anything could rally people around here it would be family so if there's anything we can do if you think of anything let me know for now i think unless you want to discuss it with me 
I would be glad to, but a better defined plan is in order. A level-headed plan? D yes. I would like to go there sooner than three days. That is up to you. You know the situation there better than I. I just have to make sure, no, and I look at six very, very slowly, that everyone is going to play nice and not put us in a bad situation. How will you guarantee they play nice, Doran? I was thinking of you. Remember last I time. I can't guarantee they'll play nice. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. I'll go try with not, you. Try not to start a fight. I'll do my best. It might honestly be in our best favor to leave six behind on this. I'm uh, six. I, I, I don't know how, how how well you'll be able to play nice with them after the last encounters we've had with them. You'll see. I, dis I do agree with Six on this one that it's probably in our best interest to have him there. I'll be good. M mainly to make, make an apology. I can make an apology? Sure. Can you mean it? <laughs> Is that required? Hold in. <laughs> I feel real called out right now. You should! <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be required, but it might help. I will follow your lead. Kind of rubs my face a little bit. So, I say, do you? Is there any reason you would need us to be around here after today? Other than the <clears throat> the morale boosts you have supplied. And just generally helping with the situation here. It would be nice to have you, but no, it is not a priority. We will spend today boosting morale and uh, getting our bearings. And Fessa, I'm going to trust you to practice apologies with six. I give six the thumbs up. Well then. Um, and then tomorrow we'd head out. And um I guess we'd be spending two days with them. But that's more to get to know them and hopefully create some sort of a good connection. A good connection. And yes. convince them to help with the New Republic somehow. Correct. Correct. Very well. Best of luck, then. Please let me know before you go. I will. And then we will send you um, a message first night we're there. So that way um, you know what's going on after night one and then night two as well. And then basically every night we're gone, we'll try to update you if we have the magical energy to spare. Very well. Sounds fair. If not, we can communicate via flare. Yes, if things do take a turn, I'm sure we will make sure six lights up the sky. Very well. Which guy? I said sky. <laughs> well, make Which sure guy? it's burning. Burning sky! <gasps> Thanks, Isaac. Yeah, no problem. Very well. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Doran. Um, That's me. You all enjoy the rest of your day, then. And I'll I send will... a few messages to people in Priest. Do you have any messenger animals? No. I shall find one. You could perhaps borrow some pigeons from the... No, I oh. hate pigeons. Very well. 
All mm -hmm. they do is shit on everything. I don't shit on everything. I didn't say you were a pigeon. <laughs> I've been called worse. Yeah. You have. <laughs> I, I look at six and smile. Yeah, you have, you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been by me. I've, you've called me pretty bad things. What? what? You haven't been the nicest to me every moment of every day. Okay. Sorry. I mean, Alistair has been the meanest. I give him a smile and a wave. I, I don't understand you. <laughs> Nobody does. Now, if you would all leave my office. Oh, are, sure. you, are you gonna do office things? That's typically what I do. What are your office things? Do you have office hours? N not really. I mean, yes, but no, not officially. What are your office hours? That is... He looks up, <laughs> smiles a little bit, classified. Okay, Doran, <laughs> his office hours are when he's in the office. <laughs> I've never really seen him outside of the office. He, Bess, you know, he, he kind of shoots you a, a sly look, and he says, you figured me out. <laughs> I've only seen him outside of the office to either find us to yell at us or to eat. I mean... Those are his two favorite things to do. Sitting at his desk, he kind of gestures to the mountains of parchments and papers and books on his desk, and then over to the bookshelf full of scrolls and such, <laughs> It's kind of a mess, honestly. You should hire someone to clean. Do you think Pettifer would... No, I don't trust him with that. Never mind. I think he would, but I don't know if you... If you don't trust him, then he wouldn't. Perhaps, Perhaps I um... might suggest Captain Nicklean, sir. His attention to detail is second to snow. I don't like that man. <laughs> Understood. We well, don't either. I... I was going to mention once again he is very insistent on joining you on your next endeavor but I don't think his presence would be helpful at the church mission itself is classified as well yes perhaps inform him just to shut him up for a bit that um, you will be leading the charge on an attack in direwood to vanquish great foes and he can come along for that excellent We can update him. Where would we find him? That's a great question. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's looking for you right now. Ah, well, we're here. Should be easy to find then. Very well. You, you're all dismissed. Again. Good day, sir. He nods. Love you, bye. I kind of scutter out of the door. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs> okay. All um, right. As you guys all step out of the office um, and make your way, is there anything you wanted to talk about before you find Nicklean? Uh, yes. So, Six, I know you're not a fan of this plan. Okay. How can, what, what are your thoughts on it? Don't lie to me on this. I am happy to follow your lead. Do you think this is going to be a good idea? I don't think it's going to leave us off any worse than we are now. I, from what I've gathered in my short time here, this group right now is at a loss for friends. And here's my other, my other thought. Let's say... We don't go to the church. And the queen decides to. That puts us in a much worse situation. Indeed. I agree with that. So the thought is... Try to make the enemy of my enemy my friend. I guess. Indeed. I understand where you're going with this. Six, what can we do to make this more bearable for you? Um. <laughs> well, well, I have all of this edible devil weed concentrate. No, um. 
I mean, if, if we just helps. dope up six before we go, <laughs> like six save. shows up and he's like, "Yeah, man, the rock." That's dude, Church of the Rock, more like Church of the Grass. That's groovy <laughs> as hell. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I honestly am feeling much better uh, than the last time we visited. I do not think that we will be retrieving a traitor today. Uh, honestly, I think we're we're, we're I'm, I'm I'm okay. So there's I'm nothing to see where this that goes. there's there's nothing that any of us can do to help make this not so terrible. I honestly, I I I I feel okay. Can I do an? Uh, okay. You can. Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. Uh, and and you don't even have to. I, the six is being very honest. He's very willing to go give this a shot. He's not going to be in charge at the moment, and that makes him feel a little bit better, because he's not going to be the one forced with uh, cleaning up whatever lightning bolt mess or, or whatever is <laughs> happening. Um, so he's, he's, he's good. He's waiting to see where this goes. Thank you. Bess, would anyone be aware of your little tarot card reading, or is that just a you thing? I don't know. I wasn't trying to hide it. Okay. Would, do you uh, want to know? Would... Oh, I, I super yeah. want to know, but like, it's it's that's that's up to you. Um, okay. If uh, if Six saw you doing that at any point, he would definitely be interested in what you were what you were doing. Cool. Should I? Am I gonna share for the class now? Sure. Holden Doran is would call very the... interested. Doran would call yes. you a witch and then giggle because he can do magic. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you're a witch. <laughs> Okay, so the spread, the, 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 you, you can do different spreads with different cards to tell you different things. Best explains so to I, the party. I, <laughs> I, I, I just did a simple three card reading, which is uh, an, uh, kind of like a, a look at your past, your present, and your future. Um, so the first card that I got for my past is the four of wands, which means harvest and reward. Uh, so I put a note in here that could be referring to the to the death of Zimmer or being freed from my rat form um, as like, you know, big achievement. And it's like celebratory, like, yeah, we did it. Uh, the present is a difficult decision. And I'm quoting this from the text that I read. Uh, proposition which might turn out to be even better in its rewards than the old or which uh, might turn out to precipitate an even worse return. To side with the queen means to betray your patron. Patron. <laughs> Wow. Uh, and I was yeah. like, whoa! Okay. Uh, then, mm. the future is a time of withdrawal and contemplation. Oh, I forgot to say the card numbers. Um, the the present was uh, the Seven of Pentacles, and the future is the Four of Swords, which is a time of withdrawal and contemplation, introversion, reflection, emotional recuperation. This is a period of introversion and reflection after the outbreak of conflict, seeking peace after pain. So what stand like is that? The tentacles. None. Stand they're not. Uh, they're not the major arcana cards. But good question. That is actually incredibly interesting. Dude, the thing about the queen got me spooked. That's that's pretty <laughs> wild. That's. Pretty I think wild. God's watching us. <laughs> I mean, technically. <laughs> okay, fair, but. <laughs> I mean. Not in a creepy way, though. Like, you know, I'm God way. Sounds kind of creepy. So I guess we're off to find uh, Nickian. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I don't Sorry, know if yes. um. <laughs> I don't know if Doran's met Nickian. I don't think Alistair has either. Oh yeah, let's go get Nickian. Uh, well, right. as as Best finishes explaining this to you guys, and you're stepping out of the manor. Uh, ju actually, like just at the end of her sentence, she gets cut off as as you hear in the distance. Hey, hey there, you lot! I've been looking for you. Ha <laughs> ha! And he comes he comes bounding over, like hand on his hilt, ready to go. I've been the looking for gets, you all. It's within ten feet. I hold my finger up. Shit. What? And who Captain. are you? Captain. <laughs> Six, good to see okay. you. I, uh, and you as well, Nicklean. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Thor, and you. I kind of I uh, look him up and down. Being. This is Captain Nicklean. He's the he's the brave, heroic, 
and uh, fearsome warrior, which we told you about in uh, in the commander's office. He's nodding. We brought him all the way from Freeze. I uh, elbow Doran to help us. I elbow Doran kind of hard in the ribs. <laughs> I hurt my ribs. <laughs> Good. Nick I, Leon, how have you been? I have been absolutely bored. Absolutely this place bored. Is, this place is dastardly. Have you seen the conditions these people are living in? I, well, that's no, why I, I haven't. I can hardly believe it. Well, you do know that they've moved from worse conditions, correct? Damn, that's so crazy. So I keep hearing. But what? I've also been hearing tales of your endeavors here. And I'm very, very interested in joining. I'm ready to get in the thick of it, get in the action, and prove myself. I mean, of course. Prove priests for the for the glory of I wanna kill rats. <laughs> <laughs> uh and that Are... is exactly what we've come to speak about you uh with you about, uh Captain. Um we will be for the next few days on a top secret mission. Unfortunately, you will not be able to join us on this particular top secret mission, but I do have a quest for you. Go on. While we are gone. Doran? Yes? Please explain. <laughs> <There's a smile. laughs> so you see him look at you with a lot of confusion, and then he smiles in not a good way. Oh, no! I'm, uh, excuse me, Captain. Uh, up, 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 up. Proper introductions. Sir. Captain Nick, as they have Captain. said, and he extends his hand. Um, I this... slowly, as I extend my hand, I want it to get big and very orcish as I shake his arm. He looks <laughs> down and looks kind of... Okay. He's going to make a strength check to try to, like, size you up. He's going to okay. roll disadvantage now because you've caught him really off guard. <laughs> okay. Um, he grips your hand. Um, would you like to make a contesting, or are you just gonna let him? The second I feel him gripping, press the hesitation. His hands are really sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use your rules and make a minus two to his roll. Um, so with a grand total of twelve, it's a, it's a, you know, it's still a fine handshake. But like, you could feel he's really trying, but he's just like so put off, and he's like trying not to say anything. Uh, uh, very, uh... Wipe my hand on my pants and go. Interesting. Uh, I, I that that doesn't normally happen. I it must be rather warm out today. This armor is very heavy. Uh, not for me though. Obviously, I can handle. I look it. At, what type of armor is he wearing? He is currently in um, half plate. Uh, I would like mine to be. I all of a sudden my my cloak to change into like the heaviest armor possible. <laughs> I'm like, well, mine's not that heavy. You know, I don't feel that hot. He looks to you, six. I don't like this man. You, however. <laughs> You look I, like a I, I fine rolled. gentleman, and he extends his hand toward Alistair. <laughs> I wanted to see what the weather was like to see if, if it was really that hot out, so I rolled. Oh, it's a d12. Oh. 12 degrees. <laughs> it's a little chilly today. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, and I accidentally, uh... Whoop. Flagged out. He's gone. Goodbye. Back Goodbye. Back. But anyway, uh, oh, Captain Nicklean does extend his hand toward you now. Uh, I'll shake it lightly, and Alistair can. If you, if you, you might have seen me in Priest. Yeah. He grips your hand uh, uncomfortably hard. <laughs> boiling bore, most of my days. He narrows his eyes for a moment. I play there a lot. You do seem familiar, but I don't recognize the name. Um, the boiling bore. Not really my kind of place, but... It isn't for a lot of people. Very well. Uh, good to good to meet you. Good to meet somebody else of the fine, fine place that Priest is. I, I appreciate your company here. Uh, now... Appreciate. Uh, I, I couldn't help it, I'm he, sorry. He deflates for just a moment. Uh, <laughs> what is this What is this quest you have for me? I am ready to serve. I, I, I Hold up! Back at six. Hold go, up. Am I really in charge of giving him it? Bess? <laughs> this is Clara talking to Holden. Yes. We had talked a while ago about getting the fields kind of 
cleared out so that way they can be good for farming. Yes. Well, that, the, the issue wasn't clearing them out as much as being able to defend them. Are there rats over there? Not really. What if uh, well, there other were? Than, other than um, Marcus and his gang. Oh, uh, no. No, don't send him that way. That <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> that would not be good. Uh, um. <laughs> uh, well, then I don't think your stream title changed. Yep, Jesse reminded me. I just changed it. Oh, okay. This stream sucks. Take my money. As good as says, this stream sucks. Take my money. <laughs> Thanks. Give him your money back now. Can you take us to a map of Direwood? To the map? I want to see the map. <laughs> can we look at the map, please? I, I can. I, okay. Show us um, the map. Hey, show, show us, us the, map. the map. Mappy, mappy, mappy. Jesse, I can't do that, but uh, Alistair, would you roll a dexterity saving throw for me? Oh, boy. No. Oh, wrong map. Sorry. I almost just typed slash roll dex throw. <laughs> Sorry, wrong map. <laughs> wrong map. You oh, should make that a macro. Map. We'll just bring this. There we go. It's loading. Here's your map. Here's your map. It's a map. It's the map. It's the map. No, no Dora, guys. Okay, I understand. Fifteen. Okay. Um. <laughs> as you're uh, as, as you're standing there and and you're you're all talking, um, as you're listening, you find yourself fumbling for a moment, as if some invisible force had pushed you. It's very strange, and, and you catch yourself. And you, you notice that your 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 coin purse like almost falls off and you grab it and catch it just just in the nick of time. Hmm, that was weird. Yep, that kind was weird. I feel like it was from someone who might have lightning bolted a pedestrian. Kinda of, kinda of feels like I should go stab Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, for some reason I harbor hatred. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I don't for know that. why. Um, continue. Yeah, uh, so you wanted to see the map. Yeah, what's I I'm trying to find somewhere to send him what is it the old <laughs> rangers hq um you don't know you showed up there once after it was abandoned um with pettifer on your way back to when he thought that's where the cloaked rangers would be uh but you didn't really sure. go in you're not you're not really sure what's going on there you presume it last you know it's been abandoned some of the new republic i don't think that's a good idea why because he to die. He's a uh, an idiot. He's an idiot. And he'd talk about us, and they'd kill him. Um. Okay. Sure. Pardon me. I have to go here? find a bird to send to someone. So I'm going <laughs> to go find a bird to send to someone. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Um. Alistair's gonna go find a bird to send to someone. You literally just want to find a bird. I want to find cool bird. Cool. Cool bird. I want an to make Alistair sure. Alistair bird. What are you? What 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 is your goal here? What are you trying I, to do? I'm trying to think of a cool bird. Give me one second here. Okay, while well, he's flamingo. Cool um, a uh, macaw. Oh yes, the famous dire flamingo. I did type it into Google, <laughs> and uh, if you just search "cool bird," the first few results are actually pretty fucking awesome. It's it's not even like cool birds. It's just a bird that's grinding on a rail like a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Coolbirdgames.com. Um, I oh. shit you not. <laughs> so this this area right here, uh, to the east of the bridge, um, we could make him in charge of of cleaning this this out. We could tell him that there were definitely rat reports recently in this area, and you should definitely make sure it's definitely cleaned out. Uh, I like to imagine this is such an anime moment. You're all you got you're like oh, one second. We need to discuss your mission. You all turn around and huddle up around a map and are just discussing what to do with him <laughs> while he's standing there. If we waiting. send him here. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, that um, idea because that way he's not actually. Yeah. I was thinking. Oh. oh, what, Doran? First, do we know what his combat prowess is? You know, he is a captain, which is um, if the Prisians use any sort of ranking system like the Cloaked Rangers, puts him one uh, rank above you and Alistair. Bitch. Okay. In terms but, of military status, I mean. But I find a blue jay. But 
Well, do have any of us seen him fight anyone? No. Mm -hmm. I look at six. Six. How strong do you think he actually is? Can the whole I group mean, turn around and size him up that's... in an anime fashion? <laughs> you and then turn back around real fast without saying anything. <laughs> I want the group to make a, a, a group insight check to try to determine how strong he really is <laughs> with a quick anime turn <laughs> as he's standing there impatiently, kind of like trying to look over your shoulders at the map. All right, 23. Oops. Oof, that's got a nat one. Yikes. Oops, gang, gang. That's, that was the wrong one. Wrong one! Okay. Um, from, from what you could briefly briefly gather, I mean, he looks, he's, he's a larger man. He doesn't have any scars or anything um, that would that would lead you to believe he's seen combat. Um, all of his armor and his equipment seems pretty pristine. You don't know if he's actually seen combat, but like, he looks like he can probably handle himself. Six. Doran. Would you be opposed to a quick sparring match to, to see if we can actually... I, I don't want to send him somewhere that he actually might die. I I would be willing if... um. If, if, if this is a... Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Nickelian. <clears throat> yes. So we have decided that before we can reveal your secret mission, none of us have actually seen you fight. Oh, well, I I can handle myself in just about any situation, of course. Six, six <laughs> is sparring with you, then. Uh, ver very well. We um, He's Captain Hammer. I, I don't... Ah! I don't... I don't want to actually hurt him, of course, so... <laughs> Wooden swords and his fists. V we will go... We will go light. V very well. Um, Why would you go the captain? I still you... feel as though I'd be at a bit of a disadvantage, but I'll, I'll give you know, whatever, whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> Immediately, I am going to start spreading word that uh, that what six is title general? Uh, six is uh, colonel. Colonel six is about to spar with Captain Nickleian. As many people as I possibly can. <laughs> I like to imagine. Is there a place to set up? That will be, if you guys want to do it here, up to you guys. I'm going to go find a blue jay. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna... to to find a blue jay. I, am, I will come back and watch you guys. I'm very interested in this. I have to go find a bird. I'll be back. Okay. Do it, fam. Uh, <laughs> Bess is going to find as much rope as possible and try to, like, set up an area where people can't get in and get hurt. I think the best spot would be where I'm pinging on blue. I can't. See. Uh, where? Oh, I see. I was gonna say, yeah, that was a decent spot. There's also up here, uh, upper right hand is kind of a couple of decent spots as well. But yeah, no, that one down there looks. Towards looks the front, I want better. as many people to watch you beat the shit out of this piece of shit as possible. Uh. How big are sparring rings normally? It's going to be a bit as big as you guys want it. I'm okay, the, the pit that I fought Sam in yeah, was um, about 15 by 15. I, I remember that because yeah. I was able to keep my distance and still would have beaten his ass if someone had intervened. Jesse's in okay, chat. He's about, do... to, he's about to start arguing that. <laughs> let's, let's do 15 by... Uh, tell Jesse to... Answer my there snap. Was, there was no competition. <laughs> what do you mean? Doran had him completely... Oh, oh Zelfer had... Zelfer oh, yeah, had, Zelfer had... fucking rocked his shit. Sorry, Jesse. But oh, Emily, it really fucked you up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I cranked that shit out. Okay, so we're putting it down there. And you only want it to be a 15 by 15. Oh, uh, let's make it bigger. Yeah. Yeah, we have bigger. Enough... Make it bigger. Just a little bit there. Make it bigger. How's that? Bigger. Bigger? I, okay. Two squares bigger. Oh, no. Oh, There's yeah. There's a tree yeah! in there. Yeah. That's good. Okay. It's it's scenery. Okay. Okay, <laughs> good. All right. Doran, uh, make a charisma check to start spreading the word. Alistair, make a nature check to find a very specific bird that may or may not exist here. 
Boy. Can I tie the rope so people can't get in? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can start you can start putting a rope around it. Goodness. This is becoming uh, Okay. Uh, um, a thing. Dude, the commander's not going to be happy. Um, <laughs> I am not one who cares about the commander. He also doesn't what like my so he might be he might be for this. <laughs> I don't like this, but I don't like him more. <laughs> I'm going to be dealing non-lethal damage, please. I would like to look for a blue jay, but if a blue jay can be found, a bird will do. Um, with an eight, you don't find a blue jay, but you find a couple of birds. Just some all, birds. All pigeons. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a couple of smaller, like blue jay-sized birds. One of them is Not actually like pigeons? a little purplish. Hey, works for me. Hold just wanted to make sure he could include his favorite color in this game somehow. Uh, Doran, however, with an 18, starts immediately spreading the word. <laughs> Captain Nicklean sparring with Colonel Six in 10 minutes. Gather around, everybody. He just immediately starts this, like, this, this, this cry to start gathering people <laughs> around the entrance. And, you should have um, yelled free uh, entertainment. <laughs> oh, I am definitely starting betting pools as well, immediately. The second people start showing up. Without hesitation, I'm like... Anyone want to bet chores? Oh, God. Uh, let's see here. All right. I keep taking way too big of gulps of water, and it goes up the back of my nose still. This I'm still do. learning how to you. swallow. Yum. You. Oh, also, Isaac, uh, when I'm talking, I have a hard time pronouncing my R's now. I don't know if you had any problems with your speech. I did not. Okay. Good deal. Okay. Um, so with Doran's 18, people do start gathering around. Um, and Alistair, you'll be casting Animal Messenger. What's our what's what's your message? What are you trying to deliver? Uh I will I'm currently working on that, so okay, we'll okay. just say it happens and Yeah, we can get back to that, I presume you It's not like to... a you know need to know right now kind of thing. Okay. Just know um, it is going to priest. Okay. That okay. I kinda think I know what you're going for then. Um You don't. Oh, I don't. Okay. Uh people start to gather around and before long you have a crowd of maybe fifty people surrounding this little arena. Including um, Commander Peter. Light. Uh how does how does he look upset? <laughs> he is standing there with his arms crossed, not frowning, not smiling either. You can uh, roll inside I, check if you want, but he doesn't. I would like to. Go ahead. Seventeen. He seems to be trying to hide it, but this is going to be very entertaining for him. <laughs> just every now and then, you can kind of see his like he's sizing up six, and six is kind of just chilling. He just like the slightest, just the hint of a smile starts to creep across the commander's <laughs> face, and it just he quickly, you know, gets rid of it. I uh, walk towards Nickley and, and I'm assuming I, I go. All right, so since six is being challenged, Nicklean, you get to pick the corner you like to start in. Well, it doesn't much matter. I mean, either way. Uh, Does he now see the crowd of fifty people and the commander? Uh, oh yeah, I'm he gonna seems very well aware. I'm gonna stand over here. Where am I? And I'm gonna I'm gonna start yelling, Nicklean, over here! Come over here! Here's where you uh, want to be. Uh, you right. hear? I'm over here. This, Come this, here. Very well. I I trust the fine lady. <laughs> All right then. Um, six, I uh, presume six I get to keep to my armor fight. on. Six, of course. Is, <laughs> six is gonna fight without, but you can fight with it, of course. I say very pointedly. Six six is going to come kind of down into this corner, and then and he's going to put on the air of just. Blocking everyone completely out. He is here by himself. And he's gonna start doing some weird mystic monk shit. He licks his finger. <laughs> he puts it up in the air. He gets down. He picks up some dirt. He tastes it. <laughs> he sprinkles it in the air. He looks at Nicklean. He goes back to the tree. He sniffs the bark. Right. Roll, he continues to do this. Please roll an intimidation check. <laughs> He is staring intently as you do all of this. 
Oh, damn. That one! <laughs> so, so... Much, much as we are perceiving it, Six just looks like a fucking weirdo. Like, it's not even like, oh, this guy's insane, he's gonna stab someone weirdo. It's like... This guy's just a fucking weirdo. And um, the highest ranking of the party in the Cloaked Rangers is just acting a complete fool. <laughs> I um, kind of walk to the center of the ring, shaking my head. Yep, you walk to the center. And Nicolian, uh, he's been given a wooden sword. He has a shield and his half plate. And he he's kind of like bouncing back and forth like, yeah, I'm giving yeah, him encouragement. Yeah. yeah. You got this. Yeah. This is nothing for you. Easy. You're you're a captain no, no from priests. Priests of all places. Ah. Uh, and he just bangs the wooden sword against his half like ching ching. Ah. I walk towards him and go, yeah, so imagine how disappointing it's going to be when you lose. No, no such thing will occur. When, when Alistair comes back, does he see Six doing all this buffoonery out of the fucking He is field? in the middle of sniffing the bark. Okay, I, I come up to someone, just a random uh, cloaked ranger, and I go, oh god, he's using this technique. The cloaked ranger <laughs> looks at you. What, what, what technique? I have never seen a man live after this is done. <laughs> the cloaked ranger's eyes grow wide. I, d do we say something? No. <laughs> it can't be stopped. It's too late. Now you roll an intimidation, Jay. <laughs> Just this random guy. <laughs> I hope you nat 20 it so it spreads like wildfire. <laughs> Try nat 20, but with the 14, this one cloak ranger starts looking- I have a plus 12, by yeah. the way. Did you roll a 2? <laughs> Good yes. god. He starts looking nervous. And this atmosphere, there's just like a pocket of nervousness on probably the north side of this little battle map. Where Alistair probably is. <laughs> like, there's just this air of nervousness like, oh god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> in that I was just sector. trying to stifle a smile. I kind of walk to the center and kind of look around. So, we have gathered to witness, I believe, Captain Nicklean's first real test of combat since he's arrived. There, there are a couple of chuckles from some cloaked rangers and, the, and a lot of citizens going, Oh, wow, okay. And I'm going to applaud. That, that is untrue, actually. I'm going to applaud very, very loudly and, and hoot and holler. And as you start this applaud, some people start applauding, and, and Captain Nickleans, that's not true, kind of gets drowned out. Like, you can still hear it, but it kind of <laughs> gets drowned out just a little bit. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> and we'll see Six uh, show his stripes and why he is the way he is. Six kind of looks around a little confused and just shrugs. I cheer equally as loudly. <laughs> Captain Nickleon bangs the wooden sword on his chest and makes a weird sound, wood on metal, a couple more times. <laughs> dunk, yeah! Dunk, dunk. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. All right. So, on my go, I'll, st I'll step the fuck out of the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over uh, here by Alistair. I'd like to uh, say a little prayer in Dwarvish. <laughs> and, uh, just a really a really quick one, and I'd like to do the, the little mark across my chest and be like, oh, God. <laughs> the air grows ever more intense on the north side. Actually, where Doran and Bess are standing, you can just feel that like people are nervous around you. <laughs> oh, you, you, right. you catch it like centering from Alistair, who's just like looking like he's <laughs> praying for this poor man. Uh, I I, I kind of smile and go, "All right, remember, do not try to kill the other person. Actually, do your best not to." <laughs> You get a you get a couple of uh, joking ahs from some cloaked rangers. All right, I do. I'm not your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so on my count, ready, and fight! I step the fuck back. All right, <laughs> even as, more as you step the fuck back. Let's see. Oh, well, it's uh. Oh my god. Um, let me do this. Let's see it. There we go. All right. I, I figured we're not going to have combat for a little bit with how things are playing out. All so. right. You know what? <laughs> this is fine. We got some... some we Yeah. Uh, I would like everyone to roll initiative. Just in case. Okay. Plus five. Plus five. I thought I deleted six. all that shit about the ASPCA. Character not found, but I, I'm there. 
That's oh, me. That's I had to re-click again, too. Let me give you... It's 16 you got. Alright, we'll roll for Nick Lynn. We'll roll for oh. one. Um, no, actually. Ah. He rolled a 17. <laughs> so a I 16 don't, oh. plus one. <laughs> I don't know his combat prowess, but uh, I don't know if that's going to matter. <laughs> it may or may not. Six just literally beats the shit out of him in three turns. That would be pretty funny. May or may not happen. See what happens. All right. Doran okay. is not thinking about the repercussions for Nick Leon's social life. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be Alistair. And uh, just for the sake of simplicity, you guys, if it comes to your turn, you can just say skip. So, Alistair, are you going to do anything at the start of the battle or are you going to let it commence? I'm going to let it commence. All righty. Nick Leon is actually the first to act. Um, as soon as Doran so says he go, he's like, he was, he kind of cheated a little bit. He was already like starting to step forward a little bit before he said go with like in anticipation. As soon as he says go, you go, he goes, ah, and charges forward towards six, five, 10, 15. And he immediately lashes out twice with this wooden sword. Let's see. And just because, well, oh, I'll just do this. Um, he's going to swing twice. The first one. Is going to ooh, first one's going to be a twenty-five. Ooh, that's a hit. Alrighty, the second one will also be a twenty-five. Six. <laughs> this might end poorly. All right, and with this, you, you know, seeing this wooden sword, you thought ah, uh, he's at quite a disadvantage. Um, but as it hits you on the shoulder the first time, oh god, this thing is heavy. He doesn't need to cut you. He's just bludgeoning you with it. Um. He hits you across the shoulder once, you're like, oh, that actually hurt. And as you're kind of distracted for a moment, he takes the pommel and smacks you across the, the top of the head. You're going to take a total of 12 damage. All right. So she's going to punch three times. He gets those first couple of knocked in, flat. And almost like cockily, he kind of steps back a little bit and swings the sword around a bit. What are you going to do, huh? Oh, and I fucking knocked my mic over and he, he's, uh, <laughs> he's waiting on your move. And so it is. Um, is. I'm going to take the sword. Okay. Then you may um, roll. Uh, I bet there are official rules for this for disarming somebody. There should be for disarming. I'm looking it up on. I'm not seeing it on. Uh, creature, can you. Beyond. Okay, you make an attack roll contested by the target's uh, athletics or acrobatics check. Okay. According to DMGE page 271. So here you just roll we. An attack. Here you we will go. Roll athletics. 17. <laughs> okay, I think I need to switch this dice out. It rolled three 18s in a row. <laughs> so, uh, and that's not including his modifier. But basically, you're super quick. You grab it. And and he looks he looks down at you grabbing it. You you tug, like, super quickly. And you, you pull a little bit. But he looks down, just... <laughs> Good try. And he, he goes to bash you away. But and you I gotta split it. Right. One damage. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll punch him then. All right. Um, yeah, just one, one, uh, fist across the face. Hold on one moment. No problem. There we go. All right. I don't know why it wasn't looping. Um, let's see. With one fist across the face in 18... 18. Will just hit. Okay. So, um, as, as he's trying to like and push when, you... I, when I hit him, I say the word bonk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for seven damage. Um, as as you try to pull the sword away and realize, oh, he's actually kind of strong. He co goes to push you away. You take the opportunity to just bonk him on the side of the head. <laughs> and he, he seems a little <laughs> dazed at that. All right. All right, Doran. Anything? Nah. Bess. Nah. Nah. Alistair. Uh, nope. Alrighty, his turn. He, he reels back a little bit from that blow. I must admit, I underestimated you. <laughs> and he, he charges forward again with two more swings. Using different d20s this time. Uh, that's going to be a 22. That hits. And a natural 20 for the second. Oh, uh -oh. six, you actually might lose. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I wasn't anticipating that. Um, so for the first one, you're only going to take five bludgeoning damage. Okay. And the second one, oh, uh, you're going to take 
15 bludgeoning damage. So 20. All right. Yeah. And he, he so he basically he comes back forward, pushes you into the the railing th that that you guys are just made. You hear a crack behind you, and as you're as you're getting back up from that, he slams into you and knocks the wind out of you for a moment. It is your turn. All right. Um. Let's see. He has not moved. I feel like maybe nah. I'll use key point and uh, I'll just do a f one full round on him. Okay. So classic, classic four, four strike attack. Let's see it. We'll go, uh, we'll go knee, we'll go elbow, we'll go shoulder, and then a headbutt. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Wow. I, wow. Only the knee yeah. hits. So, so basically, in to, retaliation, uh, too. you knee him in the gut to get him to back up away from you, and then as you flurry, your arms are moving as quick as they ever have, with an elbow, a shoulder, a head, but you're slamming into his armor, and it does seem to kind of knock him back. He seems a little off-put by how quickly and how you, you can move and how hard your strikes actually are, but you, you've gotten out of the corner, but only one of those was a solid blow. Um, he is already looking a bit, uh, bit damaged. He's not bloodied. But he's already looking like he's he's hurt. He's hurting. Okay. He's already slowing down a bit. Okay. Uh, Doran, anything? Mm -hmm. uh, kick his ass, six! I have chores riding on it. <laughs> <laughs> Bess, anything? Nicklean, I know you're better than this! <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, <laughs> and with that, you hear him. Yeah! <laughs> we can't all be against him. That'd be too mean. Alistair. Yeah, we can. <laughs> uh. Hmm. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. It is Nickleon's turn. I'm gonna two, use two different d20s again, just because. Damn, is he rolling well? Um, first strike. That's only an eleven. Okay. Second is the first fucking would be miss. a 24. Does hit. Okay, so the first one, you're finally getting used to his movements as he swings his sword across. You kind of cockly, just quickly, like, whoop, nope, just dodge your head a little bit, completely over you. But he uses that opportunity to bring his elbow as well and slam into the side of your head um, for uh, seven bludgeoning damage. I shake it off. Sure you do. And it is your turn. Uh, and I, I, I kind of shake the head, uh, a bit, and, uh, and he I is, smile. He's smiling ear to ear. Um, I kind of, hmm, feel like I want to do something interesting, but I don't have anything interesting to do at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, uh, I'll lash out again, and this time, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm just going to headbutt him four times in a row. <laughs> That's interesting, all right. I'm going to have to deafen myself for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, next no turn, problem. I'm going to pass. Okay. That's a hit, a miss, Three. a hit. Three hits for a total of, what? what is that, uh, 23, 30 damage. <laughs> yes. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. Uh, so, <laughs> as he's getting a little bit cocky, clutching his side ahead, you're like, all right. You come forward, and he's just, boom, 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 just slamming into him, pushing him back. And he's he, he's caught off balance, and he's falling back, and he, and he almost completely falls. Um, and he's, like, winded. He's, like, dazed, and he's kind of catching himself for a moment. Y you Heads fucking... Up. You got You got him. Um, <laughs> Doran, anything? I start laughing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite a sight. And imagine Alistair at this point is like leaning over to the cloak ranger next to him. And he's like, that's the technique. <laughs> like, <laughs> I that's... picture a little bit of blood coming from from his nose. Oh, too. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a pounding don't... headache, but so worth it. Yeah. Best hey, uh, I, I clap him on the shoulder and I say, are you okay? <laughs> Best? Oh, I'm I'm gonna yell. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Um, Alistair said he'd pass. On Nicklean's turn, you you clasp him on the shoulder and he, he catches himself for a moment. I'm fine. I like <laughs> pushes your arm off. Ha ha! Fooled you. And he swings very clumsily with his sword. Okay. Um, with a nineteen to hit. Barely missed. Bar barely missed. Barely missed. Ba barely missed. And bring it Working around. On the nose. 
one more time. That is a natural 19, so that's going to hit. Ooh, so this okay. last one. Uh, ooh, good blow. Um, this last one is going to do 10 bludgeoning damage as he clumsily misses. And then uh, for his last move, he just rams into you with his sheer weight, pushes you back into the fence again as it snaps. And you, you both fall down onto it, and he is unconscious on the ground. Oh. You did take the 10 bludgeoning damage, but he is, he is on the ground. Not unconscious, but he's just like dazed, right. and he's not getting back up. And he's kind of looking up and just... Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm the I winner! Would, I would, go ahead. My six detail. gets up. <laughs> yeah. I would like to stand, reach my hand out to him. Does he does he attempt to grab at the hand? Um, let's have him make a constitution check. Uh <laughs> with a total of eight, he kinda like he sees you and he's like, Mm-hmm. I I didn't know there were four of you. And he kinda like reaches his hand up and it just <laughs> back down on the ground. <laughs> I uh, I try to pick it, grab it, to make it look like he's reaching up or whatever. I'll use that moment to cast a heal from the ring there, just to make things nice and copacetic. Okay, yeah. Um, I think was that a level two or three? Cure wounds. It was a level two. two. All right. So I believe you roll two d eight plus Bess is what? What is yours? Like a six by now? Uh, five. Five. Am I rolling that or just? Oh, I did three. Oh, he rolls it. Well, um, two die eight. Yeah, we'll just let you re-roll it. Okay. All right. Fifteen. Same number. (laughs) (laughs) Um, as you as you go to pull him back up, you 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 use the contact of of like grabbing his arm to hold, bring him back up. He's heavy. Uh, You're not Mm -hmm. gonna be able to lift him on your on your own. But like, you you start to struggle and to bring him up, but the healing magic starts to enter him, and he kind of shakes his head. Oh. And he, like, brings himself up and uses your help. And he's standing up, and everybody's cheering, and the cloaked, everybody had a good show. Um, there, are some, there are some people who are who are um, pouting at having to do some extra chores, losing their bets. Um, <laughs> I am not. I am so happy. Nicolian kind of goes to lean on the wooden fence that he knocked over. On, he knocked you over onto, and he almost trips in, and he kind of catches himself on you, Six. And with one hand on your shoulder, and he's he's a he's a bigger guy. His his hand is really encompassing your shoulder. He he looks down at you. That was a good show. Ah, uh, well, well met, Nicklean. Well, very well met. Ah, uh, six. Ha uh-huh. ha. <laughs> I'm going to uh sit down. I shouldn't have taken it so easy on you. <laughs> oh, and he he goes. And he he just goes up to this fence here and slumps over. And there's a clattering of metal. Yeah, six is looking. I think six is bloodied. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's down fifty percent. I'm gonna go give him a uh, level four cure wounds. All right. Which is gonna be. What am I doing? Um. Ha! I I know what I'm doing. I look over at the guy next to me, who I scared the shit out of with that, and I just kind of lightly punch him on the shoulder and go, (laughs) "You're great." Um, okay. okay, sorry, Alistair, I'm just looking at what you were giving me. Wow. Um, I, uh, walk over to Light. You, you walk over to Light, and he's, he's still got his arms crossed. He's just, you could, you could see a faint smile. I boosted morale. <laughs> that you did. <laughs> boosted mine, that's for sure. And we actually learned he, uh, actually knows how to fight. I'll admit, he did better than I thought he would. I was pretty sure Six was going to have him in three punches at most. <laughs> Six could have me in three punches. <laughs> Six could probably yeah. have me in two. Six would give me a run for my money. So, Nickelian, I wasn't so sure, but he did well. He did very well. Mostly very out of sheer weight, but nevertheless, a capable fighter. I kind of went... No one thought to prove his worth at any point in him being here. He's certainly been talking up his worth. Now we know why. I just, I am very much of, if you're going to talk shit, you're going to get hit mindset. He certainly got hit. Six, you look, uh, oh, better than I remembered you looking. Oh, it's, uh, 
it's a yeah. And I just at the end of the fight, you you looked pretty beat up. Oh, I was sandbagging. I say, dancing foot to foot. That you were. Very well. Good show. That also, I, I heard like might keep him off our back until we get back. We can tell him that him lasting this long in the battle was uh, proof that he's worthy enough to go on the uh, secret the tunnel next, the next adventure, secret we call tunnel, it. Yeah. So you've Do. devised a different mission for him. Yes. And, and also... Be... He will not be uh, accompanying us to the Church of the Rock. We figured that a smaller group uh, would be more appropriate. Uh, but on the next adventure... Um, but what will he, he will... be doing? We'll rest Scar up until uh, we back. For the next few days, he will rest, uh, and then he will accompany us as a guard. Uh, yeah. Very well. <laughs> Keep in mind, he's familiar with the Prussian squad. If there's anything you want them to do, I'm sure he'd be happy to lead them. Of course. Why didn't we think about this? Because uh, someone really wanted to watch him get punched because he uh, ah. annoyed me in the first two seconds of meeting him. Commander, where do you think would be the best use of Nicolian and the Prussians to uh, uh, combined uh, aptitude at this time? I clearing fields an appropriate uh, effort at this point. The fields, perhaps the the farmlands to the south nearer Direwood are dangerous because of their proximity to the rats. However, I've had one other thought. It would be equally dangerous, but if priests were interested, no. if we were willing to relinquish some authority to them, some, an, an alliance, really, perhaps retaking our old headquarters and allowing it to be a Prussian outpost would be in everyone's best interest. Sounds like a great idea. I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan. I <clears throat> would want to ensure that the cloaked rangers retain authority. However, if the Prussians were willing to agree to that, Nicolian has proven himself that I can tell you the elite Prussian squad that you've brought back with you would be more than capable of defending it against a small rat horde. I think... That... I, would like to... I could send correspondence to priests, though. I must admit. Well, the cat's out of the bag, as they say. You know why that might not be the best idea for me to send. I, I remember. It's because of that thing. Yeah, th I, uh, the the I thing, know. Doran. Yes. I think that's a great idea. That would definitely... Um... That might earn us more help from the Prussians, honestly. I just sent I three birds over. over there. I can send another. How, how many? You spells, got birds. How many second level spell slots you got? <laughs> uh, you know, <enough>. three, <laughs> three. But I used two, three level, uh, two. Well, actually, this depends. How far is it to Priest in miles? I forgot. In one hundred. Uh, let me look at the fierce reach map. Um, I can. Yeah, get... hold and look at the fierce reach map. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, yeah, didn't you put miles on it? I put miles on the Darwood map. Um, it's basically the same map. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, Darwood is, is fierce reach. Yeah, Darwood's in fierce reach. Um, I mean, all of Darwood is fierce reach. Not all fierce reach is Darwood. It's uh, true. true. Kind of got a point. Kind of got a point. You're Mata, cute. Mata. Oh my God, my leg. Oh, my leg! Which one? Priest is probably... Oh, my right one. I've been sitting on it for too long. Ah, oh, get a different one. I would give mm -hmm. it about... 48 to 52 miles. Can we just say 50? I, that's right in the middle, yeah. That's, pro that's a good approximation. where I sent the bird? Sweet. It'll be there in 24 hours. Okay. There you have it. There bird. are three, three birds on their way to Priest. There are three birds on the way to Priest, so they'll be there around tomorrow this time. I, I can see send a fourth. Two messages that you sent to me. I know. The first one I had to cut in half because it was ah, more than 25 words. Gotcha. That's where those three little lines are. Three little lines. 
Oh, if I can oh, fit I it see. into a I blank. See. Yeah. I see. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, excellent. Um, so I cast two of those. Actually, since I... Yes. I cast two of those at level three and one at level two. Okay. okay. Um, the commander says then, if you're able to send a message, you'll want to... How many, how many words? What, what, what's our limit here? I can do 25, but I can send two. That would just exhaust most of my smaller magics for the day. Well, if you're planning on staying here, that shouldn't be an issue, correct? Correct, nope, then really? I can send as many as you want. Very well. Up I'll, to probably like seven. I'll condense a message to 50 words and have you relay it. And Sounds good. Hopefully, hopefully it takes. We could... I'm having to swallow my pride recently. We need help. Hey, but after this, you won't. Hopefully. That's what we do. Yeah, that's all right, I was um, Six, take a breather. The rest of you, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Have a good night. Commander? Can I'm you show me to where the cooks are? Um... Yeah, uh, he, he would point you out to uh, one of the kind of military-style tents. Goody. Goody. And I will head over there. Okay, you head to uh, a tent, so that's I presumably for cooking. I accidentally said Hunar. I meant um, Waylon. I know. I, I, I saw that you said that, and I was like, oh, this could be real bad, but okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll change it. I, I, I presume Alistair would know. No, it's in my backstory, actually. I, I knew... I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that initiative. So, um, or actually, we're not going to get rid of it quite yet because this will be helpful. Um, so, for the rest of your day, it is probably still only like 11 a.m. <laughs> Six feet of shit. I was the one in the morning. Yeah, in the very early afternoon, late ish morning. Yeah, Six um, had a very good spar um, that went surprisingly, not evenly, but like both for you guys and to me, way more in Nickleon's favor than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> he was on fire, uh, perhaps from all of the uh, the fair maidens' um, uh, cheers. <laughs> <Cheering him laughs> yeah. I was hoping that would piss Six off just enough that he like beat the living if, fuck out of him. If <laughs> if Jason had said, "Would that make Six angry or something?" I I, I might have given him advantage on an attack or something. <laughs> Wait, which point? What make him angry? When Bess was just constantly cheering for Nickleon. Oh, oh, oh! I got you. <laughs> Sorry. I understood. I felt mean I for ganging up on him. He was rude. <laughs> yeah. Now, you guys, of course, may um, RP, chat, you know, discuss wherever you'd like, but I'm just going to ask in order just to make things easier. Six, what will you be doing with the rest of your day? I'm um, chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool, shoot some b-ball outside of the school, probably, if there's time. Uh, I would rest uh, up. A couple of guys. Were they up to no good? Um, Did they start try making trouble in your neighborhood? Yeah, I got in one little fight. And my mom got scared just as I was moving with my auntie. And uncle, uncle in Bel Air. I uh, can't believe. Alistair? Oh. With Alistair. <laughs> that hey, works. I'm that in really this works. one. That really works. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna, you're gonna take a day to relax. I'm gonna relax. Um, if anything needs to be done, I would be happy to take care of those things. However, I'm just gonna chill for a while. Well, there's plenty that needs to be done. There are still plenty of okay. small, small like single-family homes that are being constructed that are. You know, it's turning into quite a like. There are little pockets of tiny suburbia all over that certainly could use your help. Um, I'll chip in for the day, and that sounds about right. Excellent. Uh, would you roll a a um, thinking of how six would help? I'm actually punching houses into existence. Roll a ha! dexterity and a, an intelligence for me at the same time. Okay, with one button. Um, I don't. I could write a macro for that. You could. Okay. Okay. Strength. Intelligence. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was a dexterity. Oh. You said intelligence. It was it's intelligence, intelligence and dexterity. Oh. Two twenty one. Oh, one of them my... being a nat. 20. I need to use my intelligence. Fuck. Six. Uh, oh, the adrenaline God. pumping from that fight. <laughs> you actually had quite a good time and had a bit of a run for your money. Um, you should you rest up a bit. Feel pretty good in no time and you you are awake and alert and ready to to help out for today and um you you move over to some of the um little the single family home alleys that are being made and uh, offer your assistance and spend 
the large portion of your day, um, not only like climbing up to rooftops to to bring things that normally would require like pulleys and, and ladders and such and just making things faster for everyone but also coordinating some and um All right. and helping to speed things along quite a bit uh, people are very appreciative of you um like oh, a lot. doran what will you be doing today i am going to spend as much time with the cooks about learning and giving ideas about making maybe just a little bit difference without using more materials just like all right you know let's try something different today for lunch you know, just small, just small things that might make it a little better. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead? What uh, it, what what stats? If you were if you were to make a, why don't you make a survival check for me? Why not performance? <laughs> Think of the okay, Great British okay. Baking Show. First, before the survival, actually, I'm sorry. Before that, roll a persuasion check. 17. With that, roll survival with advantage, as you have ingratiated yourself into the ranks. I'm of not... The, he is this. not very survival heavy. No. Um, you make friends with the cooks. They take to you quite well and are glad to have a couple of extra helping hands, and that's kind of mostly what you end up being. You don't learn a lot. You try to... You come up with a lot of interesting way out there ideas, like, what if we put that in that? What if we gathered some of this and crush it up instead of chop... Like, you just... You're coming up with a bunch of just, just spouting off things that come to your mind. And a couple of them are unique, interesting, um, maybe help to break up some of the m mundanity of the, the simple meals they make. It's... You know, the rest of you will notice tonight's dinner is a little interesting. You know, perhaps a little crunchier, but better than normal. Um, oh, at this point, six lead anything. And I will say... Yeah, how much I like that room. sentence depends on what the food originally was. Yeah, Dude. I... Yeah, no, it's literally like a stew is what I had in mind. It's like something mm, you wouldn't expect... Stew. Something you wouldn't... Because it's, it's usually like a pretty basic stew of some kind. It's not... Something you'd expect to be crunchy. You get a bit of crunchy, like whoa, whoa, okay, okay, that's not bad though. <laughs> like it's weird, but it works. Um, Put in so, raw potatoes. You, know, you, sp you spend a lot of the day ingratiating yourself with the cooks, and um, you learn a little bit, but you mostly end up just being somebody to help chop things and then carry yeah. things around. So now the question is, how many groups are there left for Doran to like bother? Let's see. Um, you have. You, you've the AV the club, club meets on Tuesday. Plenty. plenty. Uh, the cooks, um, the commanding officers, of course. Um, there are... You've bothered most of the citizens. The only other, like, quote-unquote groups would be perhaps the 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 specialty craftsmen, the, the people, the, the armorers, the weaponsmiths, the the tanners, all, all the people who, who made their living in Direwood and Main Gate uh, professionally crafting to sell and, and buy their supplies. Um, I guess, but you probably have already touched a lot of them via you're just you're like bothering the citizens. <laughs> so you've probably you've pro you probably recognize most faces in Shine Bright by now. And most people know me and like are waving at me and you know, have you ever seen the show Cheers? <laughs> no. Norm <laughs> it's uh, where everyone knows your name. You walk into the bar and norm like that. I walk <laughs> out and I'm like Dorn, and then it's just like people are waving. Some at me. groups certainly, others not as much, but the majority of people are quite friendly with you at this point. Then, if I have any extra free time, I'd like to spend as much time making everyone like me. Okay. Okay. Uh, make it just a general charisma check for the rest of the day, then, to try to specifically uh, get the people who. Oh. It's the lowest I can fucking. That's fucking bad, damn. It's the lowest roll I've got. Eight. eight. Um, unsurprisingly, making people who aren't big fans of you become fans of you is rather difficult. And mostly, what you do is get a feel for why some people aren't the biggest fans of you. Sort of. You get the Dorn idea that some people personally. some people think you're a little annoying. Some people think you're a little unprofessional for your rank. Some people think um, you're just like an outsider and don't trust you. It's not a lot of people. Still, the majority of people are quite friendly with you. But there are some who are, you know, 
very, very tentative and, you know, don't pay you much mind when you try to talk with them. Uh, when I rejoin the group at night, like, Joran looks very hurt. No. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that shortly. Bess, what will you be doing today? I've got a few things to do. Sure. I firstly would want to see if I could find a copy of A Brief History of Direwood. Or did I already do that? I don't think I found a copy yet, did I? You haven't looked. Um, make? I'm sure if I go to the commander, he can direct me to where to find one, right? Are you going to go the, to the commander first? Sure. Okay. Um, you, you go and find the commander shortly after the fight um, and ask for if he knows where you might find a copy of this book. And he would say, actually, I have one right here. Oh, uh, can I read it in, our, in my office? I'll be, like, right back. Of course, and he he, show, he he points to a book on one of the shelves, and he has it. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna skim over it as much as possible. See if I notice anything that might have piqued the queen's interest. I guess I, I I don't know. Did I notice any specific page numbers that she lingered on? You um you did not you did not ask. No, I I didn't. Cause I was spying on her. No, as in, like, you didn't you didn't mention oh, to look okay. for that or anything. Um, I mean, oh. I thought you said she was reading super fast anyway, so... Yeah. Um, you can... Tell you what, tell you what, though. Uh, make, 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 a, make a history check to see if you can remember. With a 12. Okay, um, with a 12, you don't remember exactly what she was reading, but you kind of remember, like, you can remember how much of each each side of the book was on each, like, you can remember approximately where, how deep she was in, and it looked like she's maybe, you know, uh, three-fifths of the way through or something like that, and so you kind of just flip to that general area, and it seems to be a chapter pertaining to the Mages Guild. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making a note of that. I'm gonna poke my head back into the commander's office. Mm -hmm. Say, can I can I borrow this uh, for an indefinite amount of time? I prefer to have it back sooner than later, but I I just like to read it cover to cover. When I uh, I, I have a scrying orb, as you know, and I was able to scry and look in on what the queen was doing, and she was actually reading a copy of this book. So I'd I'd like to get in her brain a little bit by uh putting myself in her shoes, if you will. He nods. If it's for intelligence, consider it yours until you're done. Most I'll books. give it back as soon as possible. <laughs> most books consider intelligence. Um, thank you, sir. What about, like, fart joke books? Those aren't for intelligence. intelligence. You learn the jokes. All right. Um, the commander nods as you leave his office, and... um. Yeah, I, I can give you notes on that later. I can give you, like, a quick few things you might discover. What, what, how would you like to approach that? Holden, you have a cat. I have a cat? <gasps> Behind you. Cat! Hi, Sadie. You're completely off camera. She's sniffing my penis. <clears throat> <laughs> Sniff her back. It's her dominance. Get right. her! Um, anything else you'd like to accomplish today? <laughs> yes, I would like to do tarot readings for whoever... Whatever Dire Woodians are interested. Okay. Um, at at some I mean, point, even actually, I would I just... would wander over for one of those, just so you're aware. Certainly. I'm interested. I can I can do one for six. I'll do it after my next thing, though. Um, Sounds good. I'd also like to read through the book that I got when we were in the spooky library. It is called. Let me let me just find it real quick here. Uh, Making me dig for a lot of notes today. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Daringle spelling in spells book. I want to flip through that. Sorry. And, what's, and get what's, a, what's the title again? Daringle's spelling of spells or oh, spelling no. and spells. Okay. Spelling in spells. Yep, I know the one. Um, Haha, <laughs> fuck you, Holden. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. 
Okay. Um. Yes, I will. So you're gonna spend some time reading that, or at least getting a yeah. feel for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She sounds serious about it. Spelling and spells. Um. <laughs> you just the gist of this book, if you so choose. Um, you realize it is magic. It is arcane in nature. Um, and you can. Like, literally, yes, it's about magic, but the book itself is magical. Um, Ooh. And with it, if you spend enough time reading the whole thing, you're pretty sure you could actually learn to modify your own spells by changing some of the um, arcane spellings of them. That is... Sexy. That's good. It would take some time. It's a thick book, but you that this is a thing you could probably possibly do with some good checks. Yeah. Um I will just for the time being read through it a little bit. I'd like to gain a little bit of understanding on like how that would change the spells that I'm casting, I guess. Okay. Like try to understand, break it down a little bit, and then that's that's what I'd do other than the other than the tarot reading tarot readings. Okay, um, let me just dress, um, right, um, would you, for me, then, if we're going to spend some time reading this book, or uh, make an arcana check for me? With advantage, because I'm adorable? No. Damn it. Okay, um, it's you worth get, a shot. yeah, you do grasp <laughs> the idea of what this book uh, can do for you, but it's really, book learning is not exactly your thing and it's heavy it's it's very thick with with very uh intricate arcana uh, arcanic language um y you're starting to get the sense of it but you don't learn much today you just you start to kind of get the feel for it feel for what a task i like it's going to be i like the uh book learning really ain't your thing <laughs> <laughs> the low blow at me buddy <laughs> All right, Bess, was there anything else for today? Oh, you wanted to do Six's tarot card, but that you said you would do that yeah. later. <clears throat> yeah, what else Anybody you... else want to? I would make a point that you would notice, Doran noticing this, wide berths it. Like, he, he makes a point to stay away. Interesting. Okay. So you're going to start doing Sixes now, but that's what you're doing at the end of the night when you guys all reconvene. Um, in the meantime, while you're actually doing that, before you report it to us and Six, uh, Alistair, what are you doing with your day? Other than studying um... the birds. Well, definitely sending the birds. But Excellent. other than that... A fine choice. Sending <laughs> more birds. Yeah, I'm going to send all the fucking birds. Use I all will, your spell slots for birds. I will wait for Light to call me up to his office before I get the messages for the other birds. And then... um, Is there, like, a bathhouse? Or, like, where do people go to shower? Um, there is a... Because I a, like the idea of, like, a large bathhouse. There are a couple of wells, and mostly what you see in are people kind of stepping out into the woods to have a tiny bit of privacy or stepping into their homes or tents if they have one, and just taking a big bucket and... It's the best they got right now. Do I know if there's any springs nearby? <laughs> Not really. Damn. You know there's a swamp nearby. Hmm, that is... Not a spring. And there's probably a relatively unsafe river. Well, as enticing as that is, I think I'm going to grab a bucket for myself. How big of a bucket can I find? So you do remember there was a bathhouse at the old Cloaked Rangers headquarters. It's a bit of a hike. Yeah, how far would that be? Uh, at a relatively normal pace. Um, the journey would be about 11 miles, or 10 to 11 miles, so probably... I'm not going to walk 10 miles or about. Yeah, like 3 to 4 hours. I think that, like, reverse it, because by the time you get back, it'll be even dirtier. No. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you're all very stinky. This whole place is pretty stinky. Oh, okay, I'm Doran's not. not. <laughs> and anyone who I walk by who smells, Doran fixes. 
Okay, so this place isn't that stinky. Doran no longer has kids. <laughs> actually, actually, that is one of the reasons everybody likes Doran. Because he just gives free baths all the time. <laughs> Licks him clean himself. The fact that Doran like kind of needs to be liked. Like he'd like, oh, you want a free bath? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yuck. Um, yeah, then I'm going to just... I'm going to try to find the biggest bucket I can. Is there a bucket of a size that I can fit in? That you can fit in? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm literally hmm. talking about, like, like you know, 10-gallon buckets that people all yeah. over and just... <laughs> well, you go to one of those. That or when Doran comes through, he just presses digitations to everyone. Yeah, damn. Okay, never mind my idea then. I do it um, for you, too. No. Nope. You won't. I'd rather be be physically stinky than magically squeaky clean. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking exactly. fuck. Even though okay. I myself am a practitioner of the arcane arts. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you do you, bud. Then, yeah, then I'm just going to I'm going to help light out with whatever he needs. And then I'm going to go find a nice secluded spot and get stoned out of my fucking mind. Okay. Me in real Sounds life. <laughs> um, I will type up the message later, and I will send it specifically to you, whether you're interested in it or not. Um, you know, it's that's up to you. But I'll send it specifically to you because you're gonna have to relay it. Um, but I, it's I actually it. no, it's up to Light. Um, he, I can give him the birds with the spell already, and he can record his voice completely unaware to me if he wants. Oh, he would prefer that. Fine. Okay, yeah, never mind then. I Lame need to send a message. He he will he will have prepared a message by the end of the night and thank you for your your help in sending it. I will let him know though that I have no way of knowing the response or any way to know if the bird actually got there. Okay, when you let him know that he he would stop before and he'd say, "Oh, okay. Um slight revision. Fair enough. I can work with that." He'll, okay. he'll send it. Okay. Um as you guys all reconvene toward the end of the night, um Best is messing around with her, her new fancy, uh, slightly macabre, I believe, tarot cards. Um, and Six is interested, and Best does a reading for Six. Best, what do we have? Um, I'm yes, not please. done yet. I'm still decoding oh. it. Oh, oh she's but decoding it. The cards, can I show you? Because I haven't looked in their meeting yet, but they look pretty cool. So the first one is this one, the Page of Wands. Isn't that cool looking? Golden sheep. Like yeah, cool. and then the Ace of the Swords. Ooh. Which looks pretty cool. And then we've got uh -huh. a ship that's on fire. Oh, with two gosh. Dolphins. And two dolphins mating. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Alistair also would have stopped by. Probably Doran, in his overly high state. Doran, noticing you doing more tarot card readings, would uh, stop and walk away. Oh. <laughs> he'd go. He'd start walking. Hi. Uh, <laughs> but I'm away. <laughs> Just you the 180. Come back. Hey, yeah, bye, guys. <laughs> I'd probably. I. It's gonna take me another couple minutes to read through, so. Okay. No Big problem. Big no, problem. I'm do sorry. A lot of uh, do a lot of village. Uh, the village people stop by for uh, uh, <laughs> tarot people. card readings. Um, in the interest of time, well, we can just say sure. A couple are interested, and she gives them mildly intriguing readings, and um, uh, uh, you people know. People die uh, in two nights. Yeah. Wait, do you fuck with people, or do you give them real... No, I give them okay. real ones. Yeah, uh, a couple get interesting <laughs> things. Um, a couple are very happy, a couple are not too pleased. And yeah, they're, I, I'd say they're a total of... Actually, fuck it. Um, yeah, a total of four. A total of four people come by if she's she's kind of mentioned and the word has spread that she's doing this. Um, most people are kind of perplexed by um, by a... Um, oh, what's... Uh, um, Lieutenant Colonel offering this service to the people, but a few take her up on it. Otherwise, um, now that you're all together, Alistair is stoned out of his mind. Um, yeah, you look at him and he is just like lagging. Because someone who's never been, who's only been stoned once, <laughs> feels similar. Hmm? Alistair is just acting similar to you did. So I'm sorry, my little brother's outside of my door whistling. Like a wow. fucking moron. Does, does Alistair act similarly to you when you were not sober? At least uh, he's not barking no, at your window. Alistair's kind of used to it. He I was chilling. not. Correct. Okay. All right. Um. Other than 
are we? I mean, ready to head out the next morning? Is that the plan? Well, once um once we have the tarot reading for for six, yeah, I can also get rid of. Yeah, no, I'm just I didn't know if we were hanging. hanging oh, you're talking to the day or... okay to oh. the group. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm we gonna... leave tomorrow. Probably more afternoon. I'm gonna sleep in. Is Doran like standing outside? <laughs> uh, Doran would be a a deep, good portion away. Okay. So you guys do plan on heading out tomorrow. Okay. I'm so sorry this is I'm taking so that. long. It's just no, 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 don't worry about it, Bess. Ah! Or Tar Clara, either of you. Tar tarot readings are notoriously difficult if you've not done them your entire life to interpret. I haven't done a reading in a very long time, and I gotta go through each definition in the book and figure out how to incorporate. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just it's book. not just looking at the cards you get. It's also like looking and finding the meaning that fits in with the person who you're reading like to really give it that insight that tarot needs. So I'm trying to I'm trying to do that. I'm sorry. Right. Um. And for a fictional character, that's probably a little difficult. Um. So you guys spend the rest of your night. Um. After after a crunchy stew dinner. Mm, <laughs> that's actually not bad um like crunchy as in you just like crunched a bunch of crackers into it like and you took a bite right away like it's a, it's it, it works oh, it's just glass <laughs> yeah mm, six says, is this poison i love it my favorite snack if, so, um, if six says in this glass doran goes yep <laughs> fresh from the glass trees Doran just mm. thinks everything grows on trees now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why did I pur why are we purchasing all these magic items? Why don't we just find some magic item trees? <laughs> exactly. And so one of the concepts in the uh, the history the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, somewhere out there, there is a planet that grows organically every object known to mankind. They they specifically focus on a planet that grows mattresses in a swamp. It's pretty fun. Um, I really like that idea. I have a new mm -hmm. campaign idea, guys. Bring you guys over. <laughs> An interplanetary adventure where every nope, planet... Nope, it's just a planet that has everything on trees. Oh, God. Okay. It's I... cool, but it's also a bit of a horror <laughs> story because uh, once they start harvesting all of the mattresses and killing them and drying them out so people can lay on them, uh, they eventually start to go extinct, so... The mattresses uh, go extinct! Yeah. The episode of Rick and Morty where they go to find a new Earth and it's like, yes, everything's on a cob. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> so eventually, uh, after the tarot reading, you guys do find your rest and anyone who needs the benefits of a long rest may take one. Thank you. <laughs> I will take it. Oh, yeah. I think Doran... No, yeah, Doran's the only one who didn't do anything that required any actual abilities. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Actually... <laughs> Everyone else used magic or got punched in the face with a wooden sword. Yeah. I didn't. I read books. Yes, but you used the spell. You healed someone. Oh, I it's did. True. And then so, you eventually had to re replace the spell in the in the ring, if you if you don't mind. So you guys were um Remind me of that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were planning on heading out this morning? Afternoon, Doran sleeps in. Sure, you Yeah, I say we leave at noon so I get a reply from both of the sets of birds I sent. Good yeah, we'd, we'd leave Very after bird birds come back or bird something. scum. Oh, you're bird scum. I am bird scum. Birds don't chew gum, Jason. I'm sorry to tell you. What do they chew? Tires flesh. or flesh? Flesh tires. Flyers. <laughs> I feel like that's something completely different. Flesh donut, an appropriate term for anus. Ooh. I'm just making a note to cut that out of the video for YouTube. Um, how, how do I, how, what, do I, what do I even type? Um, flesh donut anus hyphen capital no. Oh, <laughs> Someone quote that. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, Add quote <laughs> is flesh donut an appropriate what was what was the exact phrasing? Term for anus. Term for <laughs> anus. <laughs> Jason. The answer is yes. 
D&D. 2020. Done. Jason, where does your mind go? Yeah, welcome to the entry 282 in the quotes library. Is flesh donut an appropriate term for anus? Beautiful. All right. Immortalized. All right. Immortalized in my stream. Right. Um, so eventually, if you guys will just be relaxing for, for the day until you head out in around noon, you wanted? Yes. Cause, Sounds great. Oh, wait, Alistair, you wouldn't get the message back until later because you didn't send them until... Oh. I sent them around 11 o'clock before the fight started of the previous day. But then you have the commanders as well that you sent much later. Uh, that depends on if the commander said there was going to be any send back. Oh, cool. I, I put notes in mind for someone else to send a reply. Got you. Okay, got you. Um, so actually, we don't have to leave it. Man. Got it. You can leave. Yeah, perfect. Anytime. Perfect. Yeah. Um, then the f for the first message or the first pairing of messages. Um, let's see. You 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 would get a confirmation. Okay, um, as we head out, I'd like to look at the group. All right, so when we get closer, I'm going to have you guys hold back. I want to do something. You got it. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, as we approach, we hold back. Oh, yeah, like getting closer to the... Sorry, I'm trying to buy Clara time. I'm good now. Oh, oh, excellent. Uh, so, rewinding the last night a little bit, what is Six's reading? Okay, so I did the same three card spread. Uh, okay. Past, okay. present, and future. So, for the past, uh, Six, you got the Page of Wands, uh, which means a stirring of creative potential, uh, restlessness, and dissatisfaction in your past. Um it probably wasn't strong enough to truly cause a change. Um, restlessness, uneasiness, uh, not liking the situation that you're in. Uh, then the present is the Ace of Swords, which is, uh, out of a conflict, a new creative viewpoint will emerge. Uh, mental powers are awakening, causing change in one's life. Ultimately, a resolution will be possible, but there is an inevitability of collision and struggle before such a peace is in sight. So it looks like rough times are ahead, but if you get through it, you'll be gang gang Gucci fam. Uh, then you got future. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> the Eight of Wands, uh, which is a period of action after delay or struggle. Uh, travel can be impaired. Also, um, a clear sketch of fruitful creative activity can be impaired. Um, but once you break through that uh, uh, struggle, uh, your imagination will flow unchecked after those anxieties and tensions have been overcome or resolved. So, well, that sounds pretty good, actually. Um, I mean, I feel, I feel like we knew there was at least some sort of struggle ahead, but uh, the rest of it sounds pretty good. I think uh, that is a good sign. It looks like you're going to be anxious for a while, but then you're totally going to be fine. Talks okay, <laughs> can live with that, I guess. Can you? We'll see. Right. Um, so you guys head out eventually after mm -hmm. Alistair has received his messages. So you you have a good sleep in, and um, the uh, you're heading to the church then. E. Okay. Um. Let's see. So that head to the church of meat. You head to the bridge. It's going to be about two and a half miles be another six miles and then another six and a half so 12 and a half about 15 miles so at a decent pace if you're not doing anything if you're, if you're just kind of going it's going to be about five hours we kind of cut for tonight and then pick up later so holden can go to bed i'm fine hmm. six loads of red flare into the gun a red flare good to know Okay, um, so you guys will arrive there probably uh, before before it gets dark, um, but later, <laughs> like early, early evening. Um, and as you approach, uh, again, you're greeted by the strange colored trees um, and we, leaves. Everyone's going to hang back and I'm going to approach solo, looking like yep. Sam. Yep, 
Yep. Um, <laughs> you're, you're greeted by these sights and a, approach, and you notice there are <clears throat> two. There's the one guard here. I'll I'll just I'll just show you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, I'll just show you. There is the. I'll just put Doran on on here. We know he looks like Sam. Just give me Sam's icon. I t I totally get. You know what? <laughs> Hold on. Old characters. Sam. Sam approaches. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you notice one again. There's there's one guard uh, at this door, um, to the eastern side of the church. And but this time there are two other guards at the front gate. And as you approach, um, you are hailed. One one of the guards just raises his hand as you approach. I uh, kind of pull out the the paper from the note they sent to me. I am here with another note to hand directly to Severus. They look to each other. One says, "Very well. You are welcome here." And he he, he just gestures to the door. I kind of start to walk in. Sure. I can't move my token because it's not my. Token. Oh, okay. I'm giving you Doran. <laughs> You forget you you walk in, and as you enter, you are you are greeted by the familiar or the semi-familiar uh, sight of the church itself, and you see within a few more guards, some some of the some of the regular worshippers, and Malcolm and Severus sitting next to each other. I uh, kind of wave towards Severus to come to to me. Um, yeah, you 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 give a wave, and Severus looks back, and he 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 says something to Malcolm and stands up and. Walks over to you. And he says, "Good, good to see you again. Is there another? Is there a me another message?" He uh, wanted to make sure you got this message personally, and then I morph back to Dorian and smile at him. Uh, oh, uh, so, uh, so good to see you. Good. Uh, my friends didn't know I was going to surprise you like this. Can I go grab him now? We'll be here until the next little ceremony you had. You said in your letter. You came early. Wanted to. Spend more time getting to know people. Uh, I, I, absolutely, uh, certainly. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Um, please go go get them. Uh, well, uh, the, that the one isn't. The one who attacked you is not here. Very, very well. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be a problem. They are expecting you, just not this early. All right, I will go grab the party. Sure. Okay. So Doran comes back out, <laughs> and the and the two Even guards, Dor the two guards, <laughs> look at you and go. What? And then they, they look at each other. What, when did you? What? I kind of look at and go. What do you mean? I walked by you. You guys said hi. We had we had a nice talk about the family. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that fair, one. fair nat one. That's a really good oh, nat one. Fair though. nat one. They both they both look to each other really confused for a moment and then squint at you. So I go. Fair enough, that, that one was a bit tongue-in-cheek, wasn't it? Who are you? Oh, I am I can change my appearance at will. Savaris knows me. I'm Doran. Nice to meet you. And I extend my hand. Oh, you're Doran. Very well. He looks at your hand. Puts a spear to his side. Shakes it. Give a mighty shake. No more of that. What was his name? Uh, this one's name is... He would introduce himself as... Largo. 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 L A R G O. Largo the Grand. Means large. <laughs> large man. And the other one? Uh, the other one, if you insist, would be uh, Hobson. Oh, I get it. Like Calvin and Hobbs. <laughs> nope. But, no, I was introduce <laughs> myself from the Hobson uh, Calvinium. <laughs> I will have my other friend. Um. If you need to check with Savaris, we have been invited. We're aware you're a bit early, but... I'd like to get to know people. Very well. Um, no more trickery and there won't be a problem. So I can't do this? I changed my appearance to match uh, Largo. They both the look... armor and all. And our, all. Largo in particular looks put off. Yeah, precisely that. Especially oh, that. And I turned into Hobson. <laughs> You guys can probably all see from the distance him just changing forms in front of these two and both of them looking very, very... Ah. <laughs> what if I don't do it as a trick? No more of that and there won't be problems. What if I have permission from people inside to do this? Then I turn back the door. out of my jurisdiction. Is your jurisdiction just out here? 
Go retrieve your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't grabbed my friends. And I warned them that Largo and Hobson are not fun people. Good to note. Okay. I, I presume you all follow him back into the church? Indeed. Okay. Um, you all follow him back in, and as you step in, both Malcolm, not the guard, whoops, Malcolm and <laughs> Hobson comes and, and Savaris stand there waiting for you. And that is where we'll pick up next time.